Greetings and praise the Lord. Welcome to our daily devotion. Uh, today's devotion, as we had started yesterday, it is on uh, connecting with God. And we are on the second episode, which is precious. Yesterday was on prayer. Actually, it was pray. And uh, today it is precious. We are precious in God's eyes. And that is why we need to connect with the one that has found us to be precious in his eyes. I ask you, please, just listen to yesterday so that you can connect with today. And uh, let's look at Matthew chapter 6, verse 25 to 26. The Bible says, For this reason I say to you, do not be worried about your life as to what you will eat or what you will drink, nor for your body as to what you will put on. Is life not more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the sky, that they do not sow or nor reap nor gather crops into barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are they not much more important than, than they? Are you not much more important than they? Are you not much more precious than, a, th than they? That is a question that we need to ask ourselves and answer. What is more precious, the things that are surrounding us or the things, the other things that God has created or us? For um, let, I want to let you know today that you are more precious than anything else that God has created. If there are people who, if there is anything that is precious in God's eyes, it's the people that he has created. Why? Because you can worship the Lord. You can connect with God directly you can you can see you can god can see through you he can use you he can use you to become a vessel that will do exploits more than the other things and that is why we need to know if we are precious how do we also take god we also he should also be precious to us then we see in Matthew 6, 33, but seek first his kingdom and his righteousness and all these things will be provided to you. Let's have God as precious and, and to us. Because the reason why God has taken us to be precious as precious children, it is because he desires for, that for us we have the best. Anything precious has to have the best. And that is why even what is precious to us, we keep it safe, we lock it somewhere because we want it to be safe. And that is what God wants us to be. He wants us to be safe. He wants us to always be in his presence and connected with him for what he desires for us to have. And in Philippians 3.8, move more than that, I count all things to be lost in view of the surpassing value of knowing Christ Jesus, my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things and count them mere rubbish so that I may gain Christ. Let us value and let us have Christ as precious to us such to a point that we don't care what we are going to lose for him we don't care what people will say about us because of him it doesn't matter how people view us but anything that we anything surrounding us that is is not as precious as it is as for us being connected with this god zechariah 2 8 for the lord of army says this after glory, he has sent me against the nations that plunder you. For the one who touches you, touches the apple of his eye. That is how the Lord values you. Anyone touching you, anyone trying to do things that will offend you and cause you to feel bad, let me tell you, they are playing with God's uh, with a apple of God's eye. That is who, who you are. You are not an ordinary person. You are the apple of God's eye. Isaiah 43 verse 4. Since you are precious in, he, in my sight, since you are honored and I love you, I will give other people in your place and other nations in exchange of your life. The Lord can do anything. 
in extent of your life because you are so dear to him you are precious to him he loves you dearly he can do anything for you anything the only thing he cannot do is sin god cannot sin but anything that you need to have god can do it because he loves you you are precious to him and because you are precious then how do you take god in your life take it as your lord and savior personal lord and savior and he's gonna take you to places you've never imagined he's gonna do mighty things in your life miracles you never even expected of people people never imagined they are going to take place in your life thank you heavenly father for giving us this wonderful time to share your word and especially in sharing about connecting with you thank you because lord you value us dearly and that is why we need to connect with you for we are valuable in your sight we pray for each and everyone that is going through a lot people who are going through anxiety people who are having issues in their lives we are praying that lord you're going to do mighty work in them and help them so that they can become overcomers we honor you jesus as you continue to pursue you seek your face lord we thank you because of all the other things they will come to us thank you each and every one of you for being with us today i ask you please log into our website at www.agracem.org choose to partner with this ministry as you continue to do great things that god has put ahead of us as you continue to connect with him and even as we know we are precious and having other people come to him so that they also have their eyes open to know that they are precious in god's eyes we also ask you to follow us on youtube and facebook at bishop dr grace karuki you 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 can share and you can like subscribe and let's hear your comments on what god is doing in your life as you continue to connect with him for now be blessed i look forward to be with you again in the next devotion shalom shalom